Hello, my name is Lisa Barol Matt. I am on the Legal Awareness Committee, and I wanted to share with you today the two new appraisal writers that have been developed to add more clarity and alleviate some of the confusion there has been with appraisals. Our market has shifted and one appraisal writer was not working well and agents were putting under other conditions legal language as it related to different components of the appraisal, primarily how gaps were being handled. So I'd like to review with you today the two new riders that will be replacing the one rider that we currently have today. The first rider is the one that will be used when there is a mortgage contingency. And there are three pieces to that rider. The first piece is where the parties have the right, if a property were to not appraise, they have the right to renegotiate the purchase contract. So basically, a mortgage lender's appraisal of the property comes in at an amount less than the purchase price. The buyer is required to notify the seller promptly of becoming aware that the purchase price is greater than the appraised value. And the buyer can enter into a negotiation with the seller to determine if there will be a modification to the purchase price on the contract. If the buyer and seller cannot come to new terms as it relates to the purchase price, then the contract can be deemed to be terminated. The buyer's deposit money will be returned in full to the buyer and neither party will have any further liability or obligations to the other party. The second component is if the buyer wishes to pay whatever amount the purchase price is, regardless of the appraised value. So they are basically waiving their right to terminate the contract in the event that their mortgage lender's appraisal of the property is an amount less than the purchase price. The way we would think in these terms is that they're agreeing to cover whatever gap may exist between the appraised value and the purchase price. And the third piece to the rider where there's a mortgage contingency is that the buyer waives their right to terminate the contract in the event that their mortgage lender's appraisal of the property is an amount less than the purchase price, but is equal to or in excess of another price. So let me give you an example. Let's say the property is under contract for $380,000. And let's say the buyer has shared with their agent that they're comfortable covering a $20,000 gap. So in this example, their agent would have written in $360,000, which is $20,000 less than the contracted purchase price. So the way this would read is the buyer waives their right to terminate the contract in the event that their mortgage lender's appraisal of the property is an amount less than the purchase price, but is equal to or in excess of 360,000. 360,000 plus 20 is the purchase price in this example of 380. So that is the first rider. And that's again, if you have a mortgage contingency. The second rider would be used if you either are paying cash or your mortgage contingency has been waived. And again, there are three pieces to this rider. The first says that the parties have the right to negotiate. So if a buyer obtains an appraisal on the property performed by a licensed appraiser within, and here's where a certain number of days is filled in. The reason on this rider that you fill in those days is again, this is an independent appraisal. It is not required due to a mortgage. So in our first example, the bank's 
appraiser goes out based on their schedule, where this says within a certain number of days, you're going to get an appraisal. And in the event that the independent appraisal of the property is an amount less than the purchase price, the buyer will notify the seller promptly. Same thing as in example one, where you have a mortgage uh, upon becoming aware of this and they can enter into negotiations with a seller to amend the sales price, or they may terminate the contract by giving notice to the seller or the seller's agent or attorney. Now, if they're unable to su successfully negotiate a resolution, i.e. lower the amount, then they have a certain number of business days. Again, that number would be written in of which to do this negotiation, it fails. And then the buyer and seller have no further liability under the contract. Number two is where the buyer will pay the contracted price regardless of the appraisal. So again, the buyer has the right to get a appraisal done by a licensed real estate appraiser within a certain number of days. And that gets filled in, whatever the number of days is. However, regardless of that appraised value, the buyer is saying, I am still buying this property and I am covering any gap. So again, if their appraisal came in at 350 and they're under contract to purchase at 400, they're saying, I'm going to pay that $50,000 gap and they move forward with the purchase. The third item under this rider where there is no mortgage contingency is where the buyer will pay a contract price based on the appraisal with a certain gap specified. So it reads that the buyer may obtain an appraisal of the property performed by a licensed real estate appraiser within, again, they fill in the number of days of signing the contract. And if in the event that the appraisal is less than the purchase price, but equal to or in excess of another price, the buyer waives their right to terminate the contract and agrees to pay the purchase price. So again, let's use our example. You're under contract to purchase for $380,000. Your buyer does an appraisal with an independent licensed real estate appraiser. That appraisal comes in at $360,000. And in number three, the amount of $360,000 was specified. Three sixty to three eighty is a twenty thousand dollar gap, and you knew that your buyer was willing to cover that particular gap, provided it appraised at three sixty or more. The buyer cannot terminate; they've waived their right to terminate under those terms, and they will purchase the property up to three hundred eighty thousand. And these are the two new riders that will be used going forward to make things easier for our sellers.